In the heart of Tema, a defining moment in Ghana's logistics and maritime history quietly unfolded. The McDan Group, one of Ghana's most influential indigenous conglomerates, and the Ghana Port and Harbors Authority, which is abbreviated as GPHA, signed a Memorandum of Understanding, which is abbreviated as MOU, that may very well reshape Ghana's place in the global marine transport and logistics landscape. This wasn't just a business arrangement, it was a statement of intent, an ambitious stride towards self-reliance, regional leadership, and the establishment of Ghana as a significant hub in maritime commerce. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. For those familiar with the sector, this deal signals a remarkable moment of growth for Ghana and Africa. The collaboration between McDan Group and GPHA is both visionary and essential. Founded in 1986, GPHA has been the steward of Ghana's ports, handling responsibilities like planning, development, and regulation across the nation. Now, under this agreement, McDan Group steps in, not as an outsider, but as a committed partner determined to drive Ghana's logistics sector into a new era. Established by Dr. Daniel McCorley, the McDan Group has carved out a name in various sectors, spanning shipping, freight forwarding, customs clearance, real estate, agriculture, construction, and more. This collaboration with GPHA is not only a testament to McDan Group's versatility, but also a demonstration of Dr. McCorley's unyielding dedication to Ghana's progress. One crucial piece of this partnership is the planned development of the Electrochem Terminal at the Port of Ada. Electrochem Ghana Limited, a subsidiary of the McDan Group, has already established itself as the continent's largest salt producer. With its impressive capacity, producing 650,000 tons of salt annually, and with potential for more, Electrochem's Ada project is poised to answer both regional and global demands for salt. But this initiative goes beyond salt. It aims to reduce Ghana's reliance on imports while positioning the country as a major player in the salt export market. With facilities for bulk salt handling and processing, the port of Ada will not only streamline export processes, but also bolster the country's export economy, creating jobs and opportunities in the surrounding areas. McCorley, the driving force behind the McDan Group, is a visionary, and this latest venture is but a chapter in a larger story of his ambitions to revolutionize logistics in Ghana and across Africa. Speaking about the Memorandum of Understanding, he emphasized how this agreement reflects a commitment to long-term development in Ghana's marine sector. He noted that this project is not just about building infrastructure, but also about investing in the people who make the industry thrive. By developing both logistics and human capital, the McDan Group aims to contribute substantially to Ghana's socioeconomic landscape, reinforcing local economies and creating an environment where Ghana can better control its logistical fate. Yet, the McDan Group's involvement does not stop at physical infrastructure. This collaboration also sets the stage for a thorough feasibility study examining the technical, economic, and environmental viability of the Electrochem Terminal. Plans for development include the construction of essential infrastructure such as quay walls, storage facilities, and an upgraded road network linking Ada to major highways. The project's reach extends beyond salt handling to the holistic development of the Ada community, promising new warehouses, maintenance docks, and even residential amenities that will transform the region into a vibrant commercial hub. For Dr. McCorley, this project represents more than just business. It embodies a belief that logistical strength is crucial to economic growth. At the recent Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport, which is abbreviated as CILT, conference, he shared his story, which is a journey from humble beginnings to becoming one of Ghana's most respected logistics leaders. Reflecting on the importance of local ownership and resilience, he spoke passionately about the need for African solutions to African challenges, asserting that local control and innovation can indeed transform Africa's logistical landscape. In his view, 
Ghana's logistics sector, like every sector in any thriving economy, must be propelled by vision and integrity. In logistics, you need to be honest and have integrity. Without integrity, you crash, he shared, underscoring the ethical compass that has guided his success. In recent years, Ghana's logistics sector has witnessed an influx of foreign investors, particularly in air and sea transport, often raising questions about the level of local ownership in a country with so much potential for self-sufficiency. Dr. McCorley sees the Electrochem Terminal as an answer to that question. He believes Ghana should retain control over its crucial infrastructure, avoiding over-reliance on foreign companies. His aim is to establish logistics systems that prioritize local needs while strengthening Africa's trade routes. This memorandum of understanding with GPHA is an emblem of this vision, paving the way for Ghana to rise as a leader within the African Continental Free Trade Area, abbreviated as AFCFTA. As part of his strategy to widen the McDan Group's footprint, Dr. McCorley recently signed a billion-dollar agreement with Kenya, expanding his reach across Africa. He also celebrated the launch of his first ship to Vietnam, reviving Ghana's historic Black Star Line, a moment he sees as symbolic of Africa's readiness to reclaim its place in global trade. With a fleet of over 100 vessels planned across Africa, he envisions a network that connects African ports, empowering local economies, and creating a seamless logistical infrastructure within the continent. Dr. McCorley's contributions extend beyond grand plans and logistics. During the COVID-19 pandemic, the McDan Group stepped up, using its resources to distribute essential medicines and food across Ghana, a gesture that underscored the importance of logistics in times of crisis. As he addressed his peers and the next generation of logisticians at the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport Conference, he reflected on the role logistics plays not just in day-to-day -day commerce, but in the resilience of a nation during critical times. His story serves as an inspiration, a reminder that success is born of resilience, innovation, and a commitment to the greater good. With this memorandum of understanding, Ghana is not just building a port, it is building a future. A future where Ghanaian industries can thrive, where Ghanaian infrastructure can stand tall, and where local expertise and ownership drive national success. As McDan Group and GPHA come together to bring this vision to life, they do so with a sense of purpose that reaches beyond profit and revenue. This is a story of Ghana investing in itself, of an indigenous company rising to meet the needs of its people, and of a leader whose vision for logistics transcends business. The Electrochem Terminal at Ada stands as a testament to what is possible when vision meets opportunity, a project that promises not only to enhance Ghana's logistics capacity, but to transform lives and shape the country's future. Through partnerships, innovation, and a deep-seated belief in Ghana's potential, Dr. McCorley and his team are setting the stage for a new era in Ghana's maritime history, an era where the nation stands as a self-reliant, powerful force in Africa and beyond. The journey may have started with the signing of a document, but the story of Ghana's maritime evolution is only just beginning. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.